yummy, yummy. Yeah, it's pretty red. <laughs> I'm a girl sometimes, I'm just very <laughs> It was the first day of orientation. We had a friend in common that uh, thought that these two special individuals were supposed to meet each other. I look over and I try to catch her eye and catch her attention, and I did, and when I did, I did one of these. And she did one of these and said, he actually chased me down the breezeway because yeah, that he gave me purposely. the wrong phone number. <laughs> I was in the copy room. She walked in and I was like, whoa, who's this beautiful blonde girl I've never met before? You knew who I was for a whole year before because we had other classes together and I didn't see you. As soon as she walked in, I looked at him and I said, bro, I'm going to marry that girl. I didn't have that same reaction. <laughs> I really thought you were so handsome. I just felt like he was this cocky fraternity guy. I noticed the height, because I'm, I'm cuckoo for a tall man. It wasn't like, oh my god, who was this guy? But when we started to work together in Comic Creole, um, then it was just like, I really like him. Freshman in college algebra, I noticed her uh, right away. I came from Maryland, and I seen this super beautiful girl that I'd never seen anything like before. And I was like, yes, I'm so happy to be in South Florida. <laughs> I was expecting it to happen during dinner after graduation. You don't know, should you cry? Should the people say, why didn't you cry? I didn't want her to say no. <laughs> that was the only thing that was going to my mind. We would sit on the trees and sometimes climb them and eat lunch together. That's when I was more limber. She would sit kind of like a little bit in front of me but next to me, and she would lean over and I would write little notes on her sneakers. <laughs> he was gonna miss class for a fraternity event one day, so he said, let me get your phone number and um, you can tell me what the homework was for that day. And I was like, okay, no problem. And this was a couple months into class. And then he called me that night, did not ask about the homework at all, um, asked me out on a date. There was a step show where he was on this stage and was handing out flowers. <laughs> he was handing out roses to like all the, women, all the women in the front row. We're walking into, I think it was statistics or something. We looked left, we looked right, we looked at the door and we said, game's coming on in five minutes. <laughs> and we walked down to the bar right here, it was called Wackadoos at the time. And um, all of our friends met us over there and we watched FAU uh, lose by a very close one <laughs> to the number two seed, Alabama. And we actually found the newspaper article where a photo of us was at Wackadoos in 2002. We may have been dating for three weeks. I don't even know. It was very, very soon, but I just kind of knew. And she said, don't say it. I said, well, I don't really care. And I said, I love you. And she said, OK. I love your smile and your beautiful blue eyes. My eyes are blue. <laughs> Ahmed, without knowing, always puts our family first. I love the way that you just hold it down for us. You are the spine, the rock of our family. <laughs>